Hello, good afternoon. Uh, it just paused just before it went live then. It was hesitating for some reason. Uh, I think we're all live and ready to get going in a few minutes time though. Um, I realised something today. I realised that it's St David's Day. So happy St David's Day to our Welsh movement snackers out there. Our Welsh snack mates. Um, Jenny Carlson did put up um, the Welsh phrase that you can use for saying Happy St David's Day. I'm not going to try it. Um, I cannot try it. Um, my Welsh is pretty damn rubbish, I think. I'm that kind of person who... When we're, when we're driving anywhere, and if we could be driving somewhere in Spain or uh, we've been up northern Scotland where there's Gaelic um, written on some of the road signs, and I will have a go at pronouncing those words. Now, I have got a favourite Welsh word, but Mrs P, I will not be greeting you with a happy St David's Day in Welsh, I'm afraid. But what I will say is that my favourite Welsh word, and I always have to shout it out when I'm driving in the car, is, what is it? It's written on the road. Big letters on the road. Is it A-R-A-F? It means stop or slow, one of the two. And I always have to drive down, oh, we're in Wales now, Arf! <laughs> That's what you have to shout in the car when you see that word written on the road in Welsh. I have no idea if I'm even minutely close or spot on to the correct pronunciation. I just like to shout out, Arf! <laughs> in, uh, in the car, I'm almost making my eyes cry here because I'm, it, it, I quite am like it, it quite amuses me. Um, my daffodil, expertly handmade by one of the Gillians, I can't remember which. <laughs> I think it was Gillian with a, a G. Um, and that was on the day that myself, Chris, Gillian with a G and Gillian with a J all met up in Port Talbot a couple of years ago now, wasn't it? And it was actually St David's Day then as well. Uh, and do you know what? I only looked it because it's in the drawer in my bedside cabinet, right next to my bed. Uh, and it's where all my medicines are and your vitamin tablets and stuff. So it gets opened every day. And I always look at it. And I always wonder when I can wear it again. Um, it was Gillian with a J, was it? Thank you, Chris. <laughs> uh, I, I've been looking at it for a while. Every now and again, it catches my, um, I mean, it's hard not to notice this bright yellow in the drawer, isn't it? Um, and luckily today, I looked at it again, so, and I thought, I'm going to look up when St David's Day is. And lo and behold, it's today. <laughs> anyway, that was my long, long way round story. Let's say a few hellos and good afternoons then. Uh, we've got Kate, my mate Kate Sanders is in. Hello, Kate. We've got Mrs P in. Uh, we've got Ken. A few more marches. Yes, absolutely, Ken. Marching into March. Uh, the Dickinsons are in. Vivian and Paul. We've got Carol. We've got Bridget. Afternoon to all of you lot. Hope you're feeling good. Uh, I've just really been sat down since I left, uh, yeah, since I left you at noon. So I'll be glad of this bit of a movement snack. We've got a very small add-on to go on to uh, the sway routine, but we, um, we will go into those stretches that we normally finish off with as well. What are you saying, Carol? Yeah, let's have a look. Facebook makes it difficult to find us nowadays. Uh, you might have to just refresh. You know, when you, uh, from the corner of your iPhone, I'm presuming you've got an iPhone, um, you swipe it up from the left-hand corner to the middle and then you get all of the pages that you've got open 
there, just stacked one on top of the other. Flick, 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 close them all down, go back into Facebook and you should have a refresh. Anyway, I've blathered on for a minute too long. It's time for our three, two, one. Good afternoon and welcome. It's 4.01, it's time to um, get into our final movement snack for the day. Hello Gillian with a J, I've got um, your daffodil that you made me on. Um, it's time for a sway and stretch routine and you're with me Kelsey Leverton and I'll take you through that, shall we? It's the 1st of March 2023. Feeling quite coordinated in my blue, blue, yellow and yellow. Standing tall wherever you are, where, wherever you are in your room, just make sure the area is clear, you've got external support options and a seated option if you like. Hip walk forwards as our first port of call to get into the right place. Our second port of call is to get into the right posture. So lifting, lengthening, opening, relaxing the shoulders, trying to get an extra inch or two out of your height. Oh, it's four o'clock, it's not, it's yawn time for me, isn't it? Start pedalling through the legs when you're ready and progress that into some leg marches, just with a smaller pickup of a little pick up of the knee to get the foot to clear the floor. In standing, you might wanna hold on to external support fully with your whole hand, a little bit with just your fingertips touching or come away from your support altogether. Um, whichever and whatever you've chosen to do, you can start to bring an upper body activity into it, swinging at the shoulders, pressing back with the elbows, just keeping the, the hands relatively low in this arm swing, opposite arm to leg, of course. Keep stepping away at that, treading through the feet, rolling through the feet, moving through the ankles and feeling light on your feet as well. Not too heavy, flat-footed and stompy. Try and come away from that. Lift your posture, lift your movement. Tread lightly. A little bit of warming up should be starting to come into how you're feeling. A little bit of deeper breathing. A little bit of wider, deeper, bigger breaths into your lungs area and relax it down, that should do nicely. Okay, so everything that I'm gonna do, I'll do the majority of the sway routine in standing, can be replicated in seated. We have got a small tap and step into this routine. A little bit of a shift and transfer of the weight. If you don't wanna do that step and tap, Go a bit wider with your feet and just do the shift and glide version of transferring your weight. All right, arms first. So comfy through the legs, soft and relaxed through the knees. We go up through the center of the body, push out and round. Up through, turn the palm away, push away, just draw in a circle to the one side and a circle to the other. I'm just going to even things out and just repeat that finally on the left hand side. Bring the feet a little bit closer together. Use your hands to uh, on your external support if you need to and we'll start off with just a step and a shift, a shift back and come back with your feet and that's to the other side as well. So what we did was progress from here, from this stepping, shifting, gliding action. Hang on, let me just be even. Two, 
add a little tap, step and glide and shift the weight. And then changing feet. So we're going from the right side as we were doing, <laughs> can you hear me clicking and clunking? Tap, glide, shift, return. And one more to bring us back and even right side, left side. Let's add the arms into it now. <sighs> Ready, reset. Over you go, recover, shift the weight. Tap, step it out. And we're just shifting from what right side to left side, transferring the weight from right side to left side. Take a pause there. Now we'll do a few of those. I mean, we're not gonna set a number to it. Do as many as you feel happy with. We can start to bring, just do a couple in with both arms. That's our add-on progression. We can start to look to the side that we're stepping to, just to add a little bit of change of gaze. It's this smooth, spongy through the legs, spongy through the feet in that tapping action that we've got there. Rommel, stop, get off, <clears throat> from the top, one arm, one leg, let that draw, that, let the arm just draw the circle all the way round, you might want to put a change of gaze in so that we're looking to the direction that we're stepping towards, and then just for the last two, both arms in together. There we have our sway routine from today. Job done there. All right, calf stretch from standing. Looky like thisy. Join me if you like in this standing position. Get off my scratching. Apologies for that interruption there. <sighs> Ease into the front leg, keep the back leg long and straight, heel down. A few deeper, longer breaths into that stretch position. S uh, from the seated version, for the back of thigh, and the calf stretch, which we do now, a forwards position on your chair and toes pulled up. If from this position, from seated, you wanna go into a back of thigh stretch, lift up, lean forwards. And from the standing position, what we can do is just go in. Yes, second side for the calf stretch. Whilst the sitter downers are doing the back of thigh stretch. So we, if we're up, we're doing something slightly different than the uh, seated option. Ow! I've almost just scratched me. He thinks I'm playing. <laughs> Who's crazy cat? <laughs> Ow. It's made me bleed. Um... Take a pause there from standing, step out of your position, come back down into seated, slowly coming down into seated. Now where we're up to is if you've just come down into seated, you'll need to do the back of your thighs. If you're already in seated, you've just done calf on one leg, back of thigh on the same leg. So you've just got the both stretches to do on the other side. So calf stretching for those of you who have uh, are just changing sides and 
For those of you who have just come into seated, you'll need to just do your back of thigh stretch from there. <laughs> Thanks, Rommel. Yeah, you made me bleed, haven't you? And now you're sitting in the way again. Have a think about what stretch you are left to do. You've got one to do. It might be a calf stretch. It might be a back of thigh stretch. Think about whether you need to be pulling your toes back towards you for a calf stretch or whether you want to relax the ankle. Sit tall and <laughs> lean into it. I think I'm getting a little bit too involved with these stretches and relaxations today. <sighs> Relaxing through your breath, through your body. Ease out, recover, sit back tall again. Let the arms hang by the side of you and just track them backwards, opening out the chest, stretching through the chest this time. Relaxing into your breath and easing off that stretch altogether. Right, excuse me. Come on, let me get rid of the cat, waft him away. Upper side stretch, hand on shoulder, lifting the elbow, uh, trying to reach the hand around to the back of you. Opening out the armpit, lifting through the rib cage and holding it there for our upper side stretch. <laughs> and a full reach from there. Relax down. Not too long on that full reach. And then here we have, I think Rommel wants to play. Don't you? Looks like you might get me in a minute. Lifting, opening, reaching under, reaching over and finishing off with reaching upwards there. Let your arm control it back down. Can you see Rommel's tail just? Okay, he's not creeping up on me. There we have. Um, your sway and stretch routine for the 1st of March, St David's Day. Enjoy the rest of your day everybody and we'll be back with a full round of triple trio movement snacks for your enjoyment tomorrow. Thanks everyone, enjoy the rest of your day.